is going on everybody we are in day three of new york comic-con the morning has been me hanging out with simone bianchi which was really cool more about that to come so now i'm just now getting into new york comic-con 2022 to see you know, what's happening of course i had to get to the marvel card display first check on the guys and then from there we'll uh We'll see what costumes we can see, what artists we can see, you know, that kind of cool stuff. Anyways, as always, I hope you're having a marvelous day. Made it. What's up, my friend? Made it back. You got the display going nicely, I see. Yeah, so I've been with Simone A. Bianchi. Let's see if we can find his artwork here. He's he's the Doctor Strange artist for 2015. You don't have Doctor Strange? I'm shocked you don't have Doctor Strange. Here. No. Yeah. Do you know the you know the Doctor Strange PMG where he's like this and he's got the hands all around? That's the artist. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. Hey, Magneto. What's up, dude? Look at this. That is really awesome, man. Good job. Good job. Oh, we got Dr. Strange, too. Love it. All right, let's get some more content here with the costumes. Oh, I see a Moon Knight. I see a Moon Knight. There he is. You got Batman. Very cool, Batman. Very cool. Good job, bud. Oh, we got Winter Soldier with Ant-Man on the shoulder. That's kind of cool. Guys, this place is absolutely sold out. There's very little room to maneuver. So full. All right, we have a commission from Mike Mayhew. We gotta go try to get that. We're gonna do that first. He is over this way. Uh -huh. Back here. Oh, it's Hey, Oki. Okay. What's he doing? What's up, bro? So much going on. I know I'm moving through the crowd quickly, but man. So many people here. All right, here we go. What is this? What is this? Excuse me. All right, here we are to see Mike and get our commissions. Have him put white down here. That's cool. Hey, bud, how's it going? Yeah, and I can pick up my brothers as well. There we go. Look at that. We got Grogu on there. I'm Justin. He's Dustin. Yeah. Yeah, these look really good. Let me know if you want to do a pick with those or anything. I would love to do that. That would be great. I found the Dave and Adams booth. All right, did you bring any Marvel cards? Oh, they did. They did bring some Marvel cards. Look at that. Older stuff. Look at that. Some 
nice stuff here. How's it going? Man, I'm well. I'm happy to see some marble cards somewhere. Me too. But yeah. it's more so because, like, I love the presentation. Like, the CGC presentation. Doesn't it look great? Like, well, because they don't look like a robot. <laughs> right. Like, it looks like a cool label that a comic collector who collects CGC books would also like. And I'm totally with you. I'm in love with them. I'm, I'm very excited. Like, the day that, like, I was at home. Looking for my guys, looking for my dudes here at the CGC booth. We can find them. Ah, uh, Todd's back. Back here he is, doing, doing good work, doing good work. Everybody, here he is, the one and only Juggernaut. Storm card here? That's a good question. Well, Storm in a PMG, I think, only happened in. Ooh. I saw her the other day in the store, though, so I might go back and get her. Oh, yeah. That is too cool. Oh, that's, that's cool. here outside the con. What we're going to do is we're going to... <laughs> I want to go all the way to the corner and then all the way back around. Instead of cutting through like we've been doing. some cards.
We've got some action figures here. They want 40 for that now? That's interesting. Daddy. Here's the Star Wars box. Babe. This is that. More cards, but all Pokemon, it looks like. Dropped it? Okay. It feels more like a flea market, and this is part of it. It's kind of interesting. All the freak, all the pops, it's insane, isn't it? Yeah, I think they're huge back this way. We have some trading cards. I don't see, I see non-sports, I see some DC. And I do not see Marvel cards. Any Marvel cards? Ah, whoa, <laughs> I walked right by them. What are your prices on these? Um, depends. Depends on which one? Seven fifty. Thirteen hundred. Are these yours personally? Do you collect Marvel cards? Oh, that's These awesome. are pretty neat. What's that? These are pretty neat. I think they look great. They do look great. The reds look great. The storm yeah. is awesome too. We were looking for a storm earlier for those ladies to look at. Yeah. We have a. Or I say we, we not me, but uh, friends of mine have uh, a whole display of nothing but precious metal gems, oh my God. including a bunch of greens and golds, green PMGs and that golds. That would be so cool. It's, it's over on the other side. I know you're busy. I yeah, sorry. I haven't yeah. even had a chance to walk around, honestly. Yeah. And Gambit, yeah. too. Uh, the artist, I got to have breakfast with him this morning for this card. So Simone cool. Bianchi. So cool. Yeah. It's a great, great Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. And this yeah. this is it? Any packs? Any boxes? Not here. I mean, we may be getting another case in, but I don't want to say for sure. Right. But I'm really tempted to open it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are the same. I'd be tempted to open it too. Can I have one of your cards? Of course. We're right in Midtown, actually. We're not too far away. Fifth Avenue okay. 38th Street. What case are you thinking you might get in?
You mean the Spider-Man or the old one? We don't have retro. What about Spider-Man? Spider-Man, we can. Um, they're asking a bit so high. What's that? They're asking a little high, so we're like hesitant about it. Yeah. Um, I know that they're, it's in, they're asking, like, what's gonna, what we're going to have to eventually charge is probably like 675. Right. For Bob's. So I'm not sure whether or not we want to go. I understand. Yeah. I still, I still may be interested. She doesn't know, so you spoke to Jimmy, right? But early the better, because what happened was this: the price has softened yeah. briefly, then jump up, it softened because Upper Deck had the E-Pack or some sort of special thing that came out, right? e is done. Right. It's been done for like a week, so now it's still going to start. So that I'm already seeing. That's mm. why I'm saying I'm already seeing that they're going. Oh, the price has gone up. The price has gone up. Okay. That's where the thing is. And the best way to contact you is email. Just say I spoke to Jimmy at the con, and I'm looking for Spider-Man metal. What is the price? And you said Jimmy or Jimmy? Jimmy. 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 You're yeah. Jimmy. Mm -hmm. I'm Justin. Justin. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Also known as Spidey Hits. I do a lot of Marvel card YouTube content. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. If you do a lot of that, I mean. I opened uh, 58 boxes of Spider-Man metal. Oh if you do <laughs> great product, right? I love it. Yeah, I love it too. I think it's an awesome product. Yeah. I usually don't collect my own stuff. That's the only thing right. that I would collect. Like I have. Is Marvel that. cards? Huh? Yeah. The only thing you collect I mean, is the, uh, the metal. I usually metals. don't because the way it looks is really good. I actually think this product is going to be amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's already amazing. So we have a full PMG master set on display, ah. including 2013, 2015, oh, that and 17. Amazing. That's amazing. amazing. Including all the greens, the Spider Man. On the show floor, just it's on 1161. 1161. 1161. I'll, I'll make sure to check that out. I, I don't know if it'll be here tomorrow. Okay. So. No, but yeah, um, let us know because we do do a lot with Upper Deck. Yeah. I will check with um, Randy. I don't know. The, sort of like the compliance. Yeah. So if you ever have stuff that you, you know, I just say, hey, so and so is going to be doing this, 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 and they're opening. I'm not selling it as so that they're reselling. Yeah. You know, we'll see if we can always take care of it. Well, let's connect. I'll right. email you. All right, definitely. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank right. you. Thank you. So it's all right. You're good, bud. Well, that was fun. We found Marvel cards in someone who might have access to product, which is not easy these days. It's, I literally just watched a video on Croatia and how they use these specialized dogs yeah. to hunt out truffles and sniff them out of the ground. I feel like a dog truffle sniffler. Going through here trying to find these treasures of Marvel cards and where we might be able to find them. Yay, more Pokemon. Oh look, we do have a white Swartz. A white Swartz. White Swartz signing. That's cool. Oh, sorry, my friend. Hey, thank you, YouTube channel. Oh, thank you. Uh, and you are? Eric. Aaron? Eric. Eric? Yeah. Man, I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Well, you were going to be on the YouTube show, oh. so say hello. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I like it because it's uh, cool over the Marvel stuff. Yeah, man, I, it's, that's my focus. And, yeah. you know, and like I say, help people have a little bit of a marvelous day. Add a, well, add a little brightness in the light yep. and use trading cards yeah. to do it. There, I just, on the next booth, they have some... Uh, Marvel cards. Yeah, they got uh, some of the weed sports here. I haven't been able to grab them on five minutes, so. Oh, okay. I think I gotta grab a couple packs. All right. Well, cool. Enjoy it. But excellent. You too. Appreciate you, Eric. Have Take a care. Bye bye. Oh, my apologies. Whoa! Spider Punk! What is up? this outfit that is really cool I mean, the whole thing the back and all look at that that is so cool you did really good yeah the energy feels a little different on this side of the floor doesn't it Yeah. I feel like I stepped into like the Marvel Black Market a little bit. It's like selling unlicensed product everywhere. <laughs>
All right, so we found some Marvel Legends that I want to look at here. That's pretty cool. Thank you. But I just saw a Spider-Man down here. I think these are all Ben Riley Spider-Man. They have the new Sentinel. Now this is actually, I believe they're three and three quarters, scale-wise. Got Rhino, which is cool. any others that are really something I might be looking for. You have the Fantastic Four. They're going to be releasing a lot of Fantastic Four with the movies coming out eventually. On a Halloween mask? Yeah, kind of creepy. Alright, there's that guy. <laughs> cool Halloween mask. We got caught in the crowd. Ah, we're stuck. You want to take a nap? Chill for a little bit? Yeah. I miss the best movie. Your, your new friend. Good Lord. All the jackets. That's pretty crazy. Right. Oh, really? Well, let me go in there. Oops, sorry. Where'd you get it? Where'd you see it at? Wow. I think there's like a study that says that if you give somebody like more than a certain amount of options, they can't make a decision. Yes, that was my This is where I feel like I'm at right now. Like, there's no way I can make a decision. Got some cool hats though. Mm -hmm. It is overwhelming. <laughs> Just cap, cap alone, huh? I really yeah. like oh, this model shirt right over here. The one with Spidey. Oh, yeah. Cap beside it? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Deadpool sucks slash Wolverine sucks. Start foundation. Let's see if we can go in. Then we can go in. Nope, door's locked. <laughs> I'm green. This is actually the Marvel Snap. 
Now look how big this is. Look at the, look at the line. Now tell me what the heck it is. And why something like this can be this big. But Upper Deck doesn't have a single presence here for Marvel Park. Think about pairing visually with the cards. Now that looks like a card. But it's not a card. They could do it They could. Can't you? You got Wolverine up there, Jean Grey. You get to go inside of what looks like a Tesseract. That's pretty cool. Did, uh, did you see the Damon Adams booth? You did? I did. I, I hadn't looked at it really. I just saw it. Well, I've already got it on film, but they do have Marvel cards. Yeah. yeah. Some nice books too. <laughs> hey, how's it going? And you are? That's why uh, I'm just Percy. I, I don't buy cards, but I just came. Uh, I watched your stuff. Oh, cool. Well, he's talking about the AF-15. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. You're going to get that upgraded? What's that? You're going to submit it? Yeah, I'm okay. actually, that's where we're on, we're on our way now. I, I had to get the rest of my like cards. If I had stuff like I don't have um, those, but yeah. I had those. Um, I'm more like a, I have tons of like sport autographs, like MMA yeah. UFC cards. I started collecting those, but I had these because I do comic book stuff. So I was going to go PSA, but then he he sold me to do those. That's a set. I don't so, know. So that's, so would this be better? Uh, oh, you have the whole creator set? Two sets, yeah. What I was going to go mean? one set with that. Well, you know what? I would check into that because yeah. like, I'm not sure if like, these are things. Because it's they... autographed. Well, no, well. not because of that. But they, they have separate grading for well, like, autos well, and cards. For, for yeah. sports cards. Yeah. Like who, who put these out? Um, I think Skybox. Yeah, these Skybox. will CGC yeah. will grade these. Okay. And really? because they're pack pulled autos, it will get a blue label. They cartoon cards in series. It'll get a yeah, it'll get a blue label, not a green label, because it's packed right. full. Okay, that's cool. I mean, well, but if, then, you, if you get that graded, like tag, <laughs> like find me on Instagram and tag me. Sure. Yeah. Like that's why I told him I was like I'm, I'm not a, I'm like so excited <laughs> for him to get that card. See yeah, that card yeah, yeah. I'm gonna oh, tag man. you, Jeff. It's amazing. It's gonna be good. Hey, yeah. Percy. Yeah. It's good to meet you, man. Yes, I'm walking around with the AF-15 in my pocket. You have a pocket-sized AF-15? I do. <laughs> All right, we're going to drop off some cards here at CGC. We're going to drop off, uh, well, a, a few cards, but the 16 panel Common Cut Achievement is the number one, along with the AF-15. So we're going to do that now. That's Jamie Lee Curtis and the one and only Drew Barrymore. See, you can zoom in with video really well. See, look. Hold it up there. Oh, Zach, I'm sorry. Go ahead. My apologies. So, Zach, you said you're in the Pokemon? Yeah, I mean, I deal with like cars and like fine art and like video games too. Oh, but, yeah. like, 
Yeah, if, it, if we're talking cards, like primarily Pokemon would be my focus. And so, 96. I'm definitely into Marvel. I have some Marvel cards, right? But like, I don't know like the values and like dealing them extensively like I do with like Pokemon shit. Like, how how were you in 96? Don't mind me asking. How old was I? Uh, five. energy, a lot of walking, a lot of talking. You better be well hydrated and well fed and in pretty good shape because, uh, yeah, it's a lot. Anyways, had a lot of fun. Hope you guys have enjoyed the content all along the way. Yeah, that's like a spotlight spot mommy. But uh, anyways, we're headed back to the hotel. We do have a trade night left, so there might be some content around that, but probably not. But uh, either way, I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, I hope you have a marvelous day. Cool. Do I look even bigger with a smaller bucket in my hand? <laughs> I love the pecs and stuff, man. I like that Nova. You don't like